Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on this new Tatcha the Silk Sunscreen. I was really curious about this product, so as soon as the Sephora sale started, I picked this up. And speaking of the Sephora sale, I will be doing a huge haul. I'm still waiting on some of the products that I ordered, so stay tuned for that next week, but it's coming. Um, but I wanted to get a head start and talk about this product because I know you guys wanted me to do a review and wear test. I asked over on Instagram, you guys said yes, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So let's just go ahead and get right into this review and wear test because... I love a good sunscreen and I want to put it to the test for you guys. Let's talk about the Tatcha, the silk sunscreen. So I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is you can purchase this on Tatcha's website as well. Right now it is sold out on Sephora.com. But what I always say when things are sold out is always check to see the stores near you to see if they have it in stock because sometimes it can be sold out online, but it will be available in your local store. So it'll literally tell you, you can buy it online, pick it up in store. You guys can see it there. Also, sometimes they'll have it available for same day delivery in certain areas, but because of the sale, it is a little harder to get around to it. So I would just say, keep checking. You never know, they'll restock things. Um, but this does retail for $60, so it's not the cheapest. We all know Tatcha is an expensive skincare brand, but it's well worth it. So let's get into this product. So the highlights are that it is clean at Sephora. It has a radiant finish. It contains niacinamide. It's reef safe sunscreen. It has hyaluronic acid and it's cruelty free. It is a liquid radiant finish SPF 50 mineral sunscreen with a smoothing silk extract to protect the skin from the sun, hydrate, and visibly even skin tone. This also does contain that zinc oxide and red algae extract to help protect from UVA and UVB rays and also from blue light and pollution. Um, it contains hyaluronic acid and niacinamide to hydrate and visibly even skin tone and also the silk extracts that support the skin's barrier and prime for smooth makeup application. So that's the part that I wanted to review. So you guys know I am mainly a beauty makeup channel focus here on YouTube. So I don't claim to be a skincare expert. I'm a skincare lover for sure. I love good sunscreens, but I wanna see how this does as somebody that likes to find good sunscreen products to wear under their makeup. So I'm gonna be trying it out, letting you guys know my personal thoughts on how it does under my makeup. Also as somebody that does have oily sensitive skin mineral so it's a layer on top shielding and blocking the sun away it's not going into your skin so yeah let's just go ahead and get into this product i'm gonna go ahead and open it so this is what the packaging looks like a very just sleek chic packaging it is a very runny consistency you guys can see immediately it does have like a little bit of a pink tint to it so let's just kind of see how this does So it does have a very creamy texture and it does feel like it is giving me like a glow. It does smell a little bit like clay. I will say that. So far I'm not seeing a white cast. I feel like sometimes when I see like a pink tone sunscreen, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get a white cast. Cause it tends to do that frequently but I'm not seeing white cast, which is good. I also have to say, I really like this consistency, even though it's pretty runny, I feel like it quickly melts into the skin and does its trick. I feel like when you blend it into the skin, it does a really good job of not looking as like dewy. And it does say this is best for dry to combination skin. I personally have Combination skin right now, because it's still cold in Maryland, but in the summer, I tend to have more oily skin. This is the side where we have the sunscreen. This is the side where we don't have anything. In terms of white casts, like I said, I'm not really seeing a white cast. And if there is a little bit of tint to the skin, it's very, very faint. It does feel a little bit tacky, which is definitely a good thing as somebody that, you know, would probably use this as primer as well. For me, I love those products that you can use as multi-use. I also feel like Tasha has come out with some really good like primers. So this is definitely something that I know they really focused on gearing it to an audience who perhaps would wear makeup on top of it. Um, so I definitely like that. And with the sunscreen 50, I mean, you're getting a lot of protection on the skin. Obviously you wanna retouch through the day with the setting spray if you do wear makeup or even if you don't wear makeup because you do wanna retouch your sunscreen through the day. But this is just definitely something that 
I like how it's looking. I like the fact that it's a really smooth consistency. I've noticed sometimes with mineral sunscreens, they feel gritty. This is just very smooth. It feels like a moisturizer. It just goes on really easily on the skin. In terms of how it's laying on the skin, it's reminding me a little bit of the Bliss sunscreen if you guys have tried that, but I do feel like that one's a little bit more creamy moussey. This one is more lightweight and really just melts into the skin. I think this will definitely be great for somebody that has dry skin that's really looking for a lightweight consistency that will hydrate their skin but also give them that needed SPF. And to be honest, this could work as just moisturizer and sunscreen because it does contain those hydrating benefits of the niacinamide. Um, it also does have the hyaluronic acid. So if you were in a rush and you need like a two-in-one moisturizer sunscreen, I think this is great for that. Um, I personally like those type of products. I like when it's like my moisturizer and sunscreen. So what I like to do once I apply this is I let it sit for a few minutes. So I really give it time, but this is what it looks like once it has been on the skin and you guys can see it still looks very healthy. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then we can go ahead and begin this wear test, see how it does. Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and show you guys the natural skin in natural light before any makeup applied because, I mean, this is a skincare product. So I wanted to show you guys how nice the sunscreen looks. I feel like it really gives my skin this pretty healthy glow from within, which I really love. Um, and it doesn't look like it has a white cast, which is one of my biggest problems with sunscreen is that they will look like there's like a white cast there. And this just literally looks so nice on the skin. It feels very lightweight. doesn't feel like you're wearing any heavy sunscreen. I feel like it really melted and became one with the skin, which is always fantastic. But I just wanted to show you guys how nice this looks. I feel like if anything, it gave my skin almost like a little bit of a blurred out effect. Okay guys, so this is the full face in natural lighting. It looks really good. Um, this is with the sunscreen primer. I feel like the skin looks really nice and smooth, so I really love that, but I just want to show you guys how it all looks when it comes together. So I will see you guys later for my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I am back right now. It's 6.30 p.m. and I'm ready to talk about the Tatcha the Silk Sunscreen with 50 SPF, so this is the end of the day. We definitely picked up a little bit of some dew on the skin, but it still looks so healthy and beautiful. I do quickly wanna say this foundation, the Meet Your Hue Foundation by Dose of Colors is just such a beautiful foundation. Um, I highly recommend it. I use the shade 120 Light Medium, and I actually do know that they are having a sale on this right now, and on top of the sale, you can get some money off if you use my coupon code the Mexican beauty for some cash off if you guys are interested. Um, but let's talk about this sunscreen. So I have to say it did really well. I feel like my makeup stayed on really nicely on my face. Um, I did go ahead and wear a mask today and I honestly didn't have any transfer right in these areas. Like everything still stayed on really nicely. The only area where I did have some transfer was my nose, but everything else looks flawless. Obviously we do have some shine, but I feel like it definitely helped the foundation look gorgeous for the entire day. Also, it was nice to know that I did have my SPF here. But like I mentioned earlier, I do feel like with this, it's really great to have it. But then obviously you do need to retouch it through the day to continue getting that protection on the face. It would be nice for Tatcha to consider coming out with the Silk Setting Spray with 50 SPF or however much SPF they would use because I feel like that would be like the perfect combo, you know, having both of them. Um, but I do love how this wears and I will definitely be using this. The consistency, like I said, feels like no other. It's so lightweight. It melts into the skin and really doesn't feel like you have any type of sticky sunscreen on the face. Another thing that I really like about this is that it protects you from like those blue light rays and also like the pollution out there and i do quickly want to say the other day was my first time wearing like my mask off when i went to the mall like since before the pandemic and it was weird obviously because i haven't done it a long time but i did notice that i was getting like little like rashes like little like hives and it was almost like my skin was like oh my gosh like i'm coming in contact with so much stuff so like i'm just saying like it really does make a difference when you have sunscreen or some sort of protection a layer of something on your face to really protect you especially when you do have sensitive skin like me like i feel like these type of things that really protect against everything not just like obviously the rays 
it makes such a difference. So I will be using this. This is like my new go-to. I definitely do recommend this product. If you're on the market for a new sunscreen, I think you will really love this, especially if you are somebody that likes to wear makeup. I give it a 10 out of 10. It worked great with my skin and I'm very impressed. So those are my thoughts. If you're able to get your hands on this in stores at a Sephora, definitely do so check online it'll give you like the stores that are close to you that have it available i know right now the sale a lot of stuff is sold out this is sold out on sephora's website but also look at tasha's website i'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out and hopefully you can find this and check it out because it's definitely worth your money especially if you're looking for a good sunscreen that's pretty much it guys if you guys enjoyed watching this video please give it a big thumbs up let me know to continue doing these type of videos for you guys if there's any other sunscreens you would like me to talk about um how they work with makeup let me know down below in the comment section i can definitely look into them and purchase them so i can review them here for you guys as well but i think that's all i have so i hope that you guys have a fabulous day don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll be seeing you guys very very soon for a brand new video bye guys